<sighs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another painting demonstration with your host, Johnny Petro. Today we're going to paint in the water. Yeah, this is a continuation of the George Washington Bridge now. Okay, we're going to go into some... We're going to dip our brush into some water really quick. Now to pick up where we left off, I placed some tape right here so that all you can see that we're going to separate the city uh, from the uh, from the sky and the water. So let me, uh, let me just go ahead and zoom on into that. There you go. That's the that's our moment of beauty right there. Not quite yet, but it'll get there. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's get started here. We're gonna go into our yellow. We're gonna slide it around here. Give it some water here, not too much, just a little bit. And uh, we're just going to start layering down some yellow. Now it's going to look green at first because we have a black surface right here, but as we you know, keep going, you know, we'll get And we'll get a better a glimpse of how of how our paint looks like. We're just gonna paint in some of the water right here. Uh, and just keep working out the yellow. Now this is gonna be a fantastic picture once it's done, okay? Yeah, I'm only painting this for you just to give you you know some ideas on how a real artist does his job now. Now, to tell you the truth, there will be a dragon uh, under a bridge here, so uh, you gotta stay tuned, everybody. You gotta stay tuned. Just keep sliding it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until your paint runs like a, like a dry wheel right here. And now we're going into some of the permanent red here, but it won't stay permanent for long because we're going to add more yellow here shortly. I hope you can see that clear enough. Just have to add more yellow into my palette. And so we're using a touch of cadmium yellow. We would see that from here. We're about to run out of it, so. Uh, but I have a backup. I got a backup with more yellow. Your fingertips. Yeah, just look at that, baby. Mm. You almost kiss it. No, well, but you can't because paintings don't have lips to help kiss them back. And that's just the joke for the day. And just keep blending it in until you get, you know, as a fine even distribution of color into that canvas of yours. And don't be afraid to uh, get your work out on art shows, guys. If someone can, you know, buy your artwork for you, you know, keep giving it a shot, you know, and you never know what life will throw at you. You know, 
And always keep that in your, in your mind, in, your, in the back of your heads. Remember, this is not artist tape. This is what you call, you know, duct tape. This is what you call duct tape, okay? I'm going to have to use a ball of red here. Why don't you cover that up if you can? Why not? We cover it up over here too. Cover it up down here. Blue here is going to be a dark one. Okay, uh, here we go again. Now we're just gonna add our dip our fan brush in. Uh, yeah, make sure that we have a good fan brush here. Sure, it's good enough. <laughs> you can see that from here. And now, uh, let's just go ahead here and start applying our white to do the work now. Well, let me get out of my chair first so I can show you how I'm dipping into the white. Right like this. Zoom in to the camera. And uh, here we go. See that? It's a fine amount of white right here. You can see it better enough. Okay, let's zoom out. And then let's go back here. Let's turn on our light too. glistens within our and just barely oh this is gonna glisten wow feel how your creations coming to life Now this was oil paint. We'd have a, I mean, we could mix acrylic with oil, but it'll just take a while. Uh, I mean, you could just go back in and just, you know, redo the paint however you want to. But my only technique is, you know, apply your dark color first and then go in with your white. Now, Oh, 
Or, instead, you can just use your little orange brush here, and that way, that way you can really go in and blend this sucker in. Look at that, see how nice and crisp and clear this is getting? That's what you get when you blend this in. Ah, oh, yeah, this is going to smart with beauty. Okay, and up top, we're going to go ahead here, just slightly tear off our tape. And the tape's not going to stick for long, and that's okay. We want it to be nice and even and a straight line when we take it off, just so we have a nice fair touch when it comes to painting our landscape. Now look at that. It's, isn't that a nice fine horizon? Let me uh, throw this away, just so you guys can see that. Look at that. There you go. Okay. Now coming back here, we're just gonna go back 